All right, hello, hello, everyone. My name is Passionate. I'm here with the Scrubs of Southtown podcast. We talk about KOF, all sorts of dumb stuff. Uh, I'm here with my co-host, Fat Boy and Party Barge. Y'all introduce yourself mad quick. Yo, what up, everyone? Yo, quick, quick intro, what up? <laughs> yo, yo, quick intro, what up? We speed running for no absolute reason. I don't know. I'm just messing around. I'm feeling good today. Played a lot of KOF. There were so many first to fives today and then first to tens and fifteens all over this weekend. Like, everyone was just hopping on and killing each other this weekend. It was awesome to see. Like, there's tons of content. Yeah, definitely a lot, especially with the, I mean, it's all thanks to 15, right? Like, good Lord, <laughs> everybody's playing. Yeah, people are coming back. Their expectations are actually shattered, and it's not just the meme now. You know, now to shatter my expectations, they'd have to throw rollback in 14. That would start shattering it because I'm already happy. <laughs> well, they ain't going to do that. <laughs> They're yeah, not trying that's, to sell that's 14. That's what I mean. Anymore. Like, it's going to it's gonna shatter, shatter strike my expectations. Hope so, that net cup can't come soon enough, man, because playing 14 early today, my internet connection was trash. It was kind of sucked because, I mean, I was able to play everyone else besides freaking, what's it called, um, Hawaii and, and Pirates. So 15, man, you better make that net code good. <laughs> yeah, I want to be Remember, able to play party mode. Oda said All no right. promises. Otis said no promises. That's you right. Keep the expectations low. There's so a lot of shatter them appropriately. Right. <laughs> There's a lot of passionate fans out there. I'm included one of them. And uh right. I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be out here hoping this shit works. But also, we just gonna raise a drink and be like happy that this shit actually has a release date. Cause you guys were waiting for this for goddamn ever, right? Like I think when I got into it, you guys were waiting for the release trailer or something like that and it was like two years ago a year ago i can't even remember it's like you know i'm just i just want to say when they released 14 i was already ready for fucking 15. damn it was that bad you know what i'm saying it's like it's like damn release it like that i mean it, you know, look, look, i'm just over exaggerating you know what i'm saying yeah but yeah it's like man it could look prettier it could have had a better net code you know Two good things, like, you want to make sales didn't pull through, you know? And, like, everyone knew that, like, hey, man, these two things you got to hit because the casuals will love it, you know? Like, and and sad to say, you know, like, these casuals, they pull in money. Like, if it's not for these casuals, you're not going to get these other games. The hardcore fans is only, we're such a small number, right, that dedicate most of our time playing the game. We're, we're like, small fries compared to, like, well, not small fry, but you know what I'm saying? We're, we're, our number is not as big compared to all the people who buy the game for stupid ass story mode, just want to launch a game, get their ass whooped, call it quit, stuff like that, because they, they generate the money for these companies. Yeah. At the end of the day, one sale is one sale. It's actually funny you bring that up because I was just thinking this and I was like, man, I really don't want to touch on a Maximilian video, <laughs> but he just put out a video about this. Really? Very about this very topic yeah about the Damn. casual audience versus the hardcore audience and like what makes a fighting game appealing to them and like what needs to be in it to drive those sales and and stuff and like and why casuals hop off so quick or like you know eventually like they hover around a point and then they want to get better but then they you know they hit a brick wall and then only very few right very few percentages make that ne next jump right to like into the what could be considered hardcore yeah right? i and fell then, off yeah. for decades before i got back on the train for the same and then reason. they do yeah yeah sorry and then they do that and then they're like well none of my friends want to play with me anymore <laughs> 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 like it's kind of a you know fighting games they're just this like visceral thing that have this that have this problem right you know at the end of the day see people fighting like i think uh core a shout outs to core a also made a really good point about this because he said that at any given time, half of your fan base is upset because <laughs> they just lost a match, right? It's 1v1. One out of two people is losing at any given time. It's like, man, how do you sell these things? Like, I think, like, one way, like, one, like, oh, well, one of them definitely the game has to grab a huge number of audience, right? Like, that's the most important thing. And then two, as much as I hate it, you know how like Street Fighter has that like weird ranking system or even like, you know, Guilty Gear is like, hey, you belong to the scrub floor, kid. Beat it. Get demoted, throw back down to like four, like four or whatever, you know? So I was like, <laughs> KOF needs something like that, right? Like where new people could actually 
get together and just play in that room like without having to do that research hey i'm gonna hit up discord or some bullshit and then you're like hey man i'm looking for a bunch of more other boyfriends to be freaking like low skill level than play kill up and try to level up it's hard man like so they gotta set something up where like hey we're gonna throw all these bronze and they're gonna be playing against like bronze and silver for a hot minute oh yeah and it's emotes only chat too I turned yeah it, it got subscriber. it got changed just now all right, yeah, cool. you guys feel free to chat freely. <laughs> yeah, and, but and you get what I'm saying. It has yeah, to be man. accessible, and you're gonna have to be able to like divide these groups in a way. And when they play rank, and if we have a good amount of people, they're definitely gonna level up somehow, slowly but surely. Or at least like the scrubs gonna be like, "Hey, man, I gotta like smash random buttons with a bunch of other scrubs." Keep yeah. them interested for a little bit. Yeah, everyone's gotta have that honeymoon period with uh, the beginning of fighting games, and mm -hmm. and if you don't let them have it, and you try to take the joy away and tell them study, study, do this now, like get better now, like you just you put a sour taste on it, and then it becomes work. Yeah, and one thing I wish what KOF did, they need to do a good tutorial. They need to like it's it's crazy how like somewhat like. KOF could kind of like look kind of basic, but at the same time, like to put everything together well in your arsenal and be good at like, you know, be able to like execute in certain situations or finding certain options that you could have used based on movements. KOF doesn't really teach you that. Like it, like I had to learn myself is like, why did I get hit by this? Why did I stand there? Man, I had to respect this guy's fucking hitbox. Her how can I adjust my position and how can I move to actually put myself in a good position where my button becomes an advantage even though he has a really good button. Like, the game doesn't really like teach you like very basic way for you to figure it out. They need to like give you like an example. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And it really helps. Like it would really help like people learning KOF. And I feel like when they don't have these things accessible to them, like how I don't know what game people praise about like having good fucking um, like tutorial. Was it? Guilty Gear Exert or some bullshit? Uh, yeah, Exert had a pretty good tutorial, and I think um, and Undernight, Undernight yes, had a good so, tutorial. Yeah, exactly. So they didn't do something similar like that, because without those kind of things, like people who don't want to go out of the way to do research, you're going to lose some of them. I mean, I don't know how big that number is going to be, but having built-in is actually pretty nice. What's yeah. up, gentlemen? Oh, I was going to just up? say right now, like... Uh, our silent partner. Welcome to the stream, brother. Uh, this is Battle Spectrum. He's been, he's actually the one that helped introduce me to KOF, the, one of the first guys I met uh, to get into the scene. So welcome to the stream and, and the chat, man. Thank you, sir. So, so I got you a question for talk? you. Oh yeah, go, go, go. Yes, oh, okay. Well, no. What he was talking about right there. I feel like if anybody in the development department of a fighting game has taken notes they should know that at the very least if you want to get the casual player to stay you're gonna need that that Air nrs tech you know something that's gonna like keep them captivated doing something not so tough for example the rush combos being able to hit that level three is a is a good step in the right direction so that they could do some cool looking shit while not staying you know to try to be like the next evo champion they don't have to get learn all this crazy combos and meta they just want to mash a and do something cool and say hell yeah that was dope and in that sense it looks like they're going towards that direction in 15. i agree man Silence. that looks sick <laughs> i've I... <laughs> yep. yeah no, my yeah. bad i got no, distracted I was... for half a second i know i was actually curious what you guys thought about that since they showed off that um I can't, it's on a Famitsu website or something. Like, they're letting, they're actually expanding the rush combo system. I don't know if you guys saw that. Now you can Whole mash A. Directions. Yeah, well, you mash A and then you, you hit A three times and then depending on what button you hit last, you're going to get something different. So, like, you could mash out A and then hit D and if you got three bars, that climax is coming out, you know, and it, from the, from the video I saw, it, it's like, it's legit, you know, it's three bar climax damage, you know, it is what it is, but, um. I just thought that was interesting. What I wish I, I would could... do would be like, you know, back in Marvel versus Capcom 1 or 2, you get that easy mode, normal mode, like before you even like pick your character. Like that's what they should do in oh. 15. Like if you don't want rush combos, just give me the stand A, stand A, and that's fine. You yeah, talking about right? the EO edition of CVS 2 or something? No, no, I mean, no. You're talking about Marvel. 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 Oh, I don't, I don't know that. I don't know that. Marvel edition. <laughs> I think they have like an easy mode or some shit where you just hit like two buttons and a super comes out or something like that, right? Huh. So it, it, it completely took away the, the execution. No, not completely, but it took away some of the execution away for, for people that just wanted to do cool shit with their favorite characters. So if KOF did that with the Rush Combo in 15, then, you know, they could keep 
more of the casual player base than the people that are trying to, you know, you know, do the KOF 13 combo trials for YouTube views. But I, mean, I, I say that is like a good idea, right? They should have like a mode called manual, then the other mode called auto. Like, of course, it's going to be for fun. And of course, like you're going to lose out a lot of like good shit if you do don't play manual, right? Same thing with like Marvel. Like, I believe you can't launch anymore in, in like the the easy mode it, you, like it, you can just do like hit one two three then you hit like two buttons and you do like you no know, basically hit um hit confirm come on they can goes into like a super or some bullshit like that yeah but i think like they should have an auto and manual and for kof because if they have like an auto where people just want to mash and just get like random cool looking combos but then like you don't get rewarded with high damage that should just be there for them but they should have it where you, if you just pick manual for example like you know when you double tap because i i double tap sometimes and that shit fucks me up so when i play when I try to learn a character like Chang Tung, for example, and then like, you know, I jump in and I double tap C, then I do crouch A, but I double tap it, I get that stupid um mash attack, right? Or the mash special move. I, I kind of think that they should kind of take that out. Or I mean, like, if you get, you, I mean, you get the auto combo, right? Another thing too, that kind of fucks with it. Yeah. So that's why I don't I don't like about it. Like I feel like with Chang, I have to crouch and mash A. Like you know when I double tap it twice to get the. Ball. If I do a standing, I'm gonna get the auto combo. Yeah, and luckily and we're, want, we're yeah. able to mitigate that and and you know adjust our game plan. But but why would you even have to do that if most, most games don't have that? So yeah, it should be a mode kind of thing. Just, just let give you the ability to pick, decide if you want to play it casually or you want to play it a little bit more competitively because competitive scene will be okay with if you pick you know auto combos like it's it's already installed in 14 and you know if you do an auto combo in a tournament match nobody cares it's like oh auto combo you didn't get as much damage that's it but at well, the end of the day there's yeah. way more optimal combos to do than the auto combo if anything oh, yeah, like the that. auto combo becomes like a what like a diss <laughs> right like oh he's auto comboing <laughs> you know it's mm -hmm. like yeah but when kinda... someone first starts learning and then they start like exploring like i i have some people who come through all the time to to learn new fighting games and stuff like that and i had a, a beginner explain to me very recently that they were doing the auto combo in uh i think it was guilty gear and there was like a way to end something differently like he he just started to recognize like that pressing different buttons did different things and it blew his goddamn mind like like i have no idea how to express to you how amazed he was by this uh but it like i feel a lot of us forget what it's like to be in a beginner in some of these games and we're like yeah you stand a and stop uh people from jumping at you and they do it and they get kicked in the face like why did i listen to anybody yeah yeah <laughs> not to that's another funny thing and not to take it back to that maximilian video but he talked about that exact thing right like the the learning process of a fighting game is like the best part right it's like it's like the juiciest part. Once you start learning those options and figuring out what you can do, like you want to do the cool shit. And yeah, when and in Dragon Ball, is great. oh yeah. yeah. So so in Dragon Ball, when the beta came out, it was my first fighting game, and I learned that Goku's super, his level three super, would teleport behind you. I'm a total scrub, and I was just like, I know that if I teleport behind you, if you don't know, I win. So I did it to so many people, and I was fucking popping off. I was doing the fucking auto combo. I was like getting fucked up right afterwards and i was like dude this shit is sick i want to learn how to get good and then i started studying from there you know i was like oh that's why the auto combo sucks because it becomes a four touch situation instead of a two touch and that's what you're shooting for but start with three touch plans and stuff you know what i mean like you start the development after the excitement comes when the plateau hits normally it's like all right now i know to stop doing shit i don't know at least that's how it went for me <laughs> Well, I hope that they do implement that change because, uh, you know, they, they definitely tweaked the rush combos in KOF 15. So it, if they don't give you a chance to change that, that would that would suck. I, I would say it would suck because I'm sure they heard something about it this whole time 14's been out. But if, if someone well, is doing those rush combos, though, like they're not using their bar optimally and they're not like going to, to be winning against someone doing 50% one and a half bar ex combos you know for sure so i mean it 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 does like and and someone who also relies on the auto combo to get a hit is not probably going to be like doing proper mix-ups or if they are they're just like brand new learning and they know like very little bits like i don't i don't think it's going to hurt the game outside of where where certain characters might have that problem of the double tap thing 
I hope there's a solution there for sure. Now, having said that, like that's just the, the ease of access for the for the auto combo to do some cool shit. But do you think uh, KOF 15 is, is uh, aesthetically pleasing compared to when 14 got released? Now, like, how are you looking at it now? How do you think the the casual gamers looking at this? Like, yeah, I'm down to drop a full price, you know, cash on this game that you know I'm heard of but never played especially if they have games like uh mortal kombat you know i think for what it is i think it's all right it looks it looks pretty cool but you're gonna have those people it's like oh man i want that fucking hand-drawn sprite bullshit that fucking you know takes millions and fucking almost bi- well pretty much bankrupt the company to fucking do it. and they're not gonna fucking play this is gonna buy it and fucking like play for two seconds call it quick but I mean, there, a lot of people bought Strive, right? You think like KOF 15 is like on, on Strive's level as far as like aesthetics go? Well, I think in, in no, 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 I, no, not there. No, definitely not. So then, how are you gonna get all those casual players to want to, you know, buy well, that when they already have Strive? Well, that's what I mean. Like, there's there's a lot of people who bought Strive a because it has rollback. There's some who bought it because of the visuals, but like now a legacy title for not the first time because they got re-released with rollback with the code mystics update um but like for the first time a new modern kof is being released with decent net code it's going to be launched right after uh i think most things are going to be start opening up again uh fingers crossed but you know what i mean like i think i just think it's like in a good spot to to be able to at least get a grip of sales maybe i'm just optimistic but yeah i think for sure it's going to do well like internationally I wonder about the states though. I feel like the FGC in the states will will definitely get it, but I don't know how long they'll they'll stay with it. And then the casual fan base, I don't know if it's still there for for the US. It it depends if there's like a place for people to enjoy it, right? Like if someone enjoys it for the lore, they need a place for that. Like if someone enjoys it for the matches, they need a place for that. Um if someone just wants to pick it up once and stream like you know that's just gonna happen it's a fighting game like yeah there's so many people have picked it up and been like i love fighting games and everyone's like this vtuber got into fighting games this is amazing and it was like it was like a one week thing you know it's like yeah you know but i mean it, people get hype about everything and then it moves on and it's all about like it's all up to us to create events and like make cool shit for people to enjoy it you know that like if they do pick it up they know there's a cool place to hang out and and, and do yep. stuff yeah the number one thing you can do for your game as a community is just prominently show yourself having fun with it right people see a lot of people having fun with it they're gonna they're gonna want to play like that's all there is to it so yeah, the community-driven events, all that stuff. You guys have done really good with that. So have other people. You know, it's just it's all about the streams, the numbers, like showing the positivity and the fun side of everything. Yeah, Hell yeah, yeah. And making. And I was gonna ask you too about the the single player aspect of it. Like, do you guys care about the story mode at all? Do you guys yes. are, are worried about it? Like, or are I... you just looking at rollback netcode? That's all I give a fuck about. Let's go. When I, I don't get, I only in... care about rollback netcode beating your freaking ass. That's it. <laughs> Oh, uh, I know where you stand, man. Do, do you do you guys care, Nate? I do. Pardon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I care. I so <laughs> when I get into a game, normally, like when I first started playing Dragon Ball Fighters, I think I played twenty hours of story mode before I even went into training. I just that's how I used to play games before I started actually grinding in the FGC. I still kind of pay homage to that part of my journey. You know, I like allow myself to go through the story mode and suck for a few weeks while everyone's learning. I did the same for Strive and like just kick back and enjoy it but you know what i mean it's cool <laughs> i hope it i yeah, hope it's sure good it's yeah yeah i hope it's cool because um if that part is cool that means more of my like friends who don't give a fuck about stuff can like enjoy why dino is such a cool character you know mm. there's so many people who just come over to play and then when i pick up guilty gear and like bring it over um they'll they'll just totally freak out about all the different characters and be like i'm playing the dude in the bed like this is sick this is amazing and it's it's just that little little bit of stuff that that makes the the magic start and if people even if it's just on the surface you know people might tune in one day down the road or me- people might see the game again or be like more adverse to play it like it's all the little stuff compounding yeah kof has such a rich like deep lore that goes back to the you know the mid 90s it's like uh there's there's plenty there for people to uh get into like i know there's a huge chunk of the casual audience that like 
really cares about that single player experience of the fighting game, right? Like that's that's what they're gonna do, right? But they're gonna buy the game. That's what they look forward to. You know, they're not trying to be competitive. They don't like playing online or whatever. They, they don't, don't want. even want to play someone that is difficult right. sometimes. They just want right, to be right. able to get their moves out. Right. And that's like and that's totally fine too. Yeah, hundred like percent. Just, just enjoying the, the the that, you know, and that translates to to those sales. But I think the number one thing that sells KOF is the characters. I think that's what attracted me to it. And I think people like KOF just has that storied history that is like really fun to go back at like you look at these characters like, man, what What's up with this girl? Why is she so <laughs> quiet and stern and stuff? And you go back and you learn all the the lore about Leona or something. You know, it's like I think that's a yeah. I spent hours on wikis, <laughs> hours right. and hours. Yeah, and it's like and it's cool because it's like it's been around for such a long time, and a lot of people love these characters. Like I'm sure, like you know, Terry being in Smash Brothers and like Sakurai, like introducing those KOF characters like one by one right like I'm sure that like you know that's partly I think why we have such high view counts on the the KOF 15 character trailers you know it's like freaking uh Orochi team they got like nearly a million views or whatever Twitter fan oh. art definitely helped that too, <laughs> that too. <laughs> I mean sure yeah I mean you know Shermie's <laughs> assets definitely played a part that's why she's number one but um <laughs> but yeah like uh you know, everybody has their own reason for getting into it. And hopefully, you know, they stick around or hopefully they come to love the competitive or the, the deeper aspect of the fighting game genre and stick with it. I mean, KOF is just, it's different, right? It just, it's so much fun. The movement, the, the options, um, it's that, it's that kind of freedom that makes it the game we love to play. So hopefully 15 with the, with the good online, right? That's what, that's what gets people to jump in and that's what's going to let people have a good time with it. So what do you think, Sanchez, then? <laughs> I'm going to reverse, I'm going to Uno reverse card uh, the question back to you. Is the story mode important to you? Yeah, man, I want to see what the hell they do. I mean, coming from, like, when MK9 came out, and they kind of reimagined this, the shit story they made out of, like, Armageddon, and they brought you back through one through three, UMK3. Like, that That was hype, man. That was, that was like, all for it. Yeah. Injustice, same shit. That's why, that's why I was talking about NRS, like, as being the guys that were doing it right for the casual player. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of friends who from, like, bought UMK3, Stadia That's just that. so dope to me. So it's like, seeing that all over again in, in a new game at, back in, what, 09? It's like, if 15 does that with, with the, all the KOF lore that they got, like, they're, they're even getting the... Mas Masami Obari to come back to do that anime short like bro I'm hype man I still love like watching those Fatal Fury anime movies you know yeah yeah that shit is sick I, I want to oh, see yeah. that animated movie so I, I'm I'm despite everything that that's like FGC related like I'm hella looking forward to that story mode and see hopefully they do something new yeah I hope they give the the story mode love but if they give the story mode love and they don't give a lot of those uh what's it called uh like the character intros for the 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 round starts where Shermie says hi to chris and stuff like if they don't give the equal amount of love to that kind of stuff i'll be a little disappointed not gonna lie oh uh, that that only proved to me that i think they will and i thought that was <laughs> that's something else that i could definitely speak to like i i remember i wrote a letter to crispy or i don't know crispy kaiser had like a uh the snk community manager he had a uh, like a he had like a request site like put up I think when like KOF 15 was early in development and I remember I wrote in there and I was like, you got to put special intros back in this game. And I copied him, you know, I linked the CVS2 special intros YouTube video, which also has like well over a million. I can't remember. It's well over a million views now. Yeah. Pe people love that shit. Like it just in, in three seconds, you can like, you can make somebody really care or want to know more about these characters. And like, it shows off so much personality and like it just it just gives the game like a polished feel and it's i feel like at the yeah at the end of the day it's like it's not as much work for for a huge return right like seeing those kind of interactions like why wait why are they say why are they doing this together like that's interesting. i agree 100 percent. like the quotes like you get the end quotes for sure but like even the the, the intro man like cvs2 like you said like geese howard recite that shit all day because that's that's so unique to so many like very few, very few fighters i mean and kof needs that back and i'm yeah. glad they're finally getting it back yeah like somebody who has no idea about these characters and like they see terry and geese square up and terry's like geese you know like, like why the fuck why yeah they're like what is that and then they go back yeah. and they learn about all the history and like why people why people love this stuff 
So. And everyone's resurrected too, so like it. I don't know if they will expand on the story, but they have the possibility to expand on the story, like it, with like DLC or something. But they, you know, hey, are they adding uh, English voices to the characters or just Japanese? I don't know. That, I, that, that would be funny. Well, that would be, be really Japanese. funny. <laughs> yeah, I said. I jokingly said I really want English. <laughs> just for the laughs but i mean it it usually does not turn out good i would love to hear bodega bodega <laughs> buster wolf well he's not gonna say bodega because <laughs> that's the japanese oh that's right my bad my fault <laughs> rainbow like, energy dynamite kick your body is open <laughs> that's what he's gonna say <laughs> Yeah, I keep it Japanese. Yeah, please. <laughs> Apple juice. <laughs> yeah, Apple yeah. Juice. Yeah, they keep right. that one for sure. Yeah, I think the the characters of of fifteen so far, I'm I'm pretty happy with who they're showing as. I mean, when when is the next silhouette supposed to be? It's supposed to be this week, right? Or are we getting a trailer this week? Possibly we don't know tomorrow. Yeah. Shatter your expectations, bro. Yeah, you exactly. that already, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're playing yourself. I'm playing yeah. myself. That's right. You right. My fault. That that Wednesday thing, it, Tuesday to Wednesday thing is just like the meta, dude. They're they're just mixing you up, conditioning you to think something, and then boom, fifty fifty. You don't know what's next. And they piss us off with the announcements. So when the game comes out, we've already been pissed and we're chill already. We've learned to manage our expectations. Wow, man, these yeah, guys dude. are playing next level. Oh no, yeah, uh, we're on to. <laughs> That was the best thing they could have done, dude. Just like, don't, whatever you think, don't matter. It's not what you think. And even if you're right, it's still not what you think. <laughs> yeah. My, the only aspect of the character trailers, like the, the reveals that I liked was when they just like completely threw someone out there out of left field, like the Joe or, or Yuri. Those were really good. I just liked it when somebody came out completely unexpectedly. But... Like King of Dinosaurs, how we got it like kind of, well, yeah, yeah. not the I mean, league that was side, an accident. That but... was a mistake. Yeah. But I that mean, they kind put of the silhouette entertainment. Out. Yeah. They put the silhouette out and like literally everyone who's played 14 knew who it was. And then he just like, oh shit. Here he is. <laughs> and I then, got no uh, GG super. Yeah, that's what I was popping off about. But, you know, the next big thing is uh, Tokyo Game Show, right? This late, late this month, last week of this month. So I feel like we might not hear or see anything possibly until then. Or we might. I don't know. Yeah. Man, if I've been that condition, I'll be a little sad. I'll just have to keep grinding, I guess. Not even look at the clock. Just lose track of time. Get ready for 15. How, how you guys thinking you guys, you're you going to do when it comes out? Like, you guys have been grinding 14 for a minute. I... Uh, now with the whole FGC coming on board with rollback, they, as soon as they saw the rollback, they are like, we'll give it a try. As far as the FGC is concerned. Not I'm not... I'm not worried about it. Like, I always like to fight better players. Like... I, I have to make sure that I'm always shooting for the top, you know? So, like, I want to fight players who shut down my ability to even play neutral because it shows me different things that I lack defense on. So, like, I used to even go online and uh, on, on Dragon Ball and play against people like Chris G and Super Noon, like, and just sit there and, and rematch them until they got bored because I just wanted to learn. Like, some things I couldn't learn at the time, you know, I was, like, way noobish, but I think I'm, like, smart enough now to learn from from anything that someone throws at me so like i i mean i i don't know maybe it's a little cocky but it's not that i think i'm gonna win everything but i think that i'm just ready like let's fucking go <laughs> i'm super excited to play some like yeah some, some you know possibly big names from other fighting games that haven't been playing kof i think that's a really exciting like opportunity for sure yeah, it'll be cool to see different names come in and be able to see like what, uh, like even returning names like uh, Mr. KOF and Reynolds and everyone bring to the table. Like every, they're now back into the pool, and everyone's now swimming and fighting for these points. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I feel like both both coasts have a the scene is there for KOF, East Coast and West Coast, but you know, there's a dormant scene and. This is not even counting like the pandemic or anything like the scene has been dormant for a bit as far as like local events go and even when uh right before the pandemic where you had the hyperdrive tournaments like you had the i think it was vegas cup as well lunar bow like these things were like finally picking up again bringing back <laughs> yeah. the old kofs and yep. then poof gone yep. so it's like 
all these players that were barely maybe even thinking about coming back like we're gone again for another another two years until 15 is going to come out so that's that's a big pool of old old veterans then you got like the new faces of, of the fgc that have been like grinding the other games and just like you know winning tournament after tournament so and then a rollback you're gonna be able to play with against the world so it's like man like where do you guys think you're gonna you're gonna fare where are you guys gonna be at i think out the rip i don't know i'll probably be like middle of the pack i don't know in most fighting games i pick up i get to the point where you get to like i don't know i don't know how to describe it like not good enough to play in tournament but good enough to beat most people online that wouldn't right like i get to that point i feel like i'm there now right like some people who compete like super hard uh like deshimo and other stuff like i'll get to not demolished demo yeah probably demolished i'll just be real um but uh, I think against other people online, like I, I know a thing or two about building a game plan. I know about the spacing game. Uh, I know enough to lab, um, you know, situations and, and stuff like that. So I think that I'd probably just start labbing and, and figure out some really cool shit right off the rip and keep my eyes peeled on Twitter for stuff to watch out for and learn how to lab on defense and, you know, just play basic shit I normally do. I think I'm going to do all right. I don't think the game's going to piss me off enough to quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, how, looking forward how to naive. The... <laughs> I, 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 mean, think, I think we're going to be low, man. How many no. 98 fight Cade players are going to come back, you know? 2002 vanilla. Just come in there, pick up Chris, and just mix the hell out of you, dude. Well, I Jump I mean, I, I, guess, I guess I'm not worried about where my performance lies, I guess. Is, is more so like I can't I don't feel I can give you a serious answer on that because it, it just be like I just I literally fight until the fight's over and then I and I reanalyze so it'll be good to fight a lot of people who can smoke me and start leveling up and seeing different stuff and spacing games and movement games I only ask because you know we got Yuri and friends fight club coming up in October and like I already know, th th there's gonna be tournaments that we're gonna be running for the for you know the KOF community that you know if you open it up for for everybody now, let's say North America, you're gonna have way better connections. You can even do like South America now. So you know th those twelve man, sixteen man brackets are just gonna like double, triple in size. So these tournaments are going to get more hectic. Yeah, you're going to have to know a lot more characters than before. I mean, you already have to know the diverse roster in general, but there's like a cluster of ones and then only a few people. Like it's it's like for most tournaments, it's like, okay, the, the three characters that could destroy me are all in like Turkey. We're good. I can I can avoid having to worry about that at least for this week, but we won't have that characters anymore. Characters are in Turkey? <laughs> no, I'm just making a stupid metaphor. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I was like, who? Like all the all the all the other players are at a tournament out in East Asia. Like I don't have to worry about them in this online tournament. That's true. Local tournaments are coming back, man. Yeah, but I I'm hype. we're gonna have to really do some like deep study on these characters that come out if we're gonna if we're gonna try to help other people who don't have as much time to lab but still are like pretty fucking good. You know what I mean? Like having the mm -hmm. having the cheat sheet reference sheet like. We're all gonna have to work in the community to to find these things to help level us up. And with with online tournaments having so many more people coming in to to compete for like prizes and other stuff, that's gonna give us so many more uh, eyes just on on the the practice stuff that we do too. Because we do community nights, we do all sorts of stuff for the community, training videos, match analysis, and people are just gonna see more and more of that as it goes and. We're gonna find more content creators making more stuff about KOF. It's gonna be good for the the scene overall, you know? The more we can encourage people to get better and, and take this opportunity that these killers are actually coming back to the game and, and spin it to a positive and be like, nah, this is the perfect time because they're gonna fuck us up for a bit, but the more they play you, that's their fault because now you're learning, you know? Like, turn this, like, make it, like, Nah, I don't want to accept that like we're gonna get smoked. Like we we're gonna get smoked for a minute, but we're gonna still turn it and learn and learn and learn and grind. Like I wanna I wanna start hustling. Like I wanna get into uh 
uh, a better mindset and, and, and start winning. And we have yeah, to I take think you're gonna see. I think you're going to see the general level of everyone that's already playing 14. I think you're going to see it come up. Uh, I don't know how significantly, but I mean, I think you're going to see that general level like rise because these are the people that are playing for the love of the game, right? Like they, they're going to, these are going to be the hungriest people. And I think it's going to be really interesting when that game drops to see how far everyone's willing to go. <laughs> you know, like when people are going to be like, I reject my humanity, <laughs> like just hardcore grind kof 15 it's gonna be exciting for sure and it'll be interesting to see like i said the other people like people who are just in general good at fighting games that like kof but maybe haven't necessarily played in a long time or if ever to come in and see their approach to the new game it'll be uh really exciting and yeah hopefully the hopefully the net code allows for like solid sets online where once there weren't and yeah offline will return and it's gonna be wild, man. I know I myself personally, I'm I'll I'm gonna try and travel as much as I can to each uh offline KOF fifteen tournament. So Oh hell yeah, you gotta come down here to the West Coast, man. Oh for sure. Beer. <laughs> Got you, bro. Yeah. Roll through. We gotta get that Modelo sponsorship and then uh <laughs> Oh, that's a must, dude. Sponsored by Modelo. But yeah. SK sponsored by Modelo for fifteen. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Just got to get back on track. We lost so much in 2020, but we'll be back. We will be back. Yeah, it's coming Hell back yeah, in man. pockets right now. You know, like different different scenes are getting a little bit of uh, the revitalization. You know, people are seeing the first turnouts and then the people who are fading off after, you know, uh, that initial honeymoon of like, yeah, the local's back. And then they go and yeah. they're like, all right, I'm done. Like, I'm, you know, the, the numbers are starting to stable out and we're seeing some good competition come back. And uh, it, it's nice to see. Like, I'm seeing, well, is it next level? Or I, I'm not exactly sure where they've been playing out in uh, New York or Jersey. But there was one that I heard about that people were, like, playing a lot of O2 and a little bit of 14. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, next level ran locals yesterday. They had the Sam Show tournament. And also, I think I saw Melty. I'm, I think that was still offline i'm not sure i just know they i know they did a i know that they did same show offline it was a really good tournament actually it was good to see people back local again you know you had like rome and aru there on commentary like you know prominent kof uh community members like doing their thing doing what they do best it was a good show oh yeah i heard they called them the justin wong of sam show <laughs> Oh, Aru? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I saw that too. That's a that's a hefty title, man. Uh, Justin Wong is a is a legend in my mind. I, I, I mean, don't, they I, complimented you for that? Like, oh. That's true. Yeah, I'm that, not going to take anything. You got to kind from. of take that compliment, right? That's one of those moments like, no, you just say that like and then you like, you yeah, just don't tell yeah, everyone. <laughs> that's right. You just don't say I that am. shit in a bar or do it. Who cares? Let it rip. It's your move. <laughs> probably make a, a lot of money off that you know someone he says that shit and they're like oh yeah bet i've been grinding for i got a sick earthquake and then you know money match him he makes a couple hundred bucks you know i'm still waiting for the psychotic fat boy money matches that he's been uh waiting to implement what <laughs> talking about those high stake money matches hell yeah wanna... oh shit yeah hey just on there's not another blowout like ron house versus jay one and we're ending <laughs> Well, how how are you gonna man. do these money matches with the lag? You gonna have people mashing F11? No, no, no. This is gonna be offline. Yeah, oh. money match offline only. offline only. Offline only. You don't money match online. I mean, you can, but whoever it's... does that, man, you, you're putting a lot of faith in in the internet right there. Well, sp- you don't know what could happen. I mean, speaking of who did that though, you know, did you see the if you saw the Yipes channel like Guilty Gear money match like? They did that shit, you know, like Potash and a, Marn and yeah, Punk, and it was dumb. it was one of the hypest it was one of the hypest community events in in recent memory. Just just grassroots competition, man. I mean, it was online, you know. You think you're gonna like, bring that back for 15 though? Like, you have to do it offline, man. You you gotta see the facial expression. Nah, right man. There. Let's let's make it let's make it webcams, and then they'll be at a Starbucks on Wi-Fi on a PS4. Oh God! Right, and they'll throw down, and it'll be the fucking hey. saltiest money match ever. 
That shit would be amazing. Spon- Spon- sponsored by, by Modelo. McDonald's? McDonald's Wi-Fi, yeah. McDonald's Wi-Fi and Modelo. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, but, they would like, let it you in. know, people with money, you know, if you got the money, you're free to do with what you want with it. But, like, yeah, you know, obviously those guys, they had a lot of faith in the Guilty Gear netcode to do that, right? Like, they said, yeah, I'll run it. Like, this netcode's good. Like, I, I trust it, so... That's all we can hope for, right? Like, yeah, netcode good net enough for ten thousand really... dollars to be on the line. Yeah. No, 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 that was, that, that one was offline. Oh, that <laughs> one was offline. Anybody. How much was yeah, the the know. Hotashi one then? Like five hundred, yeah. I think. Oh, that's yeah, still I, a lot. I mean, high stakes money. Nowhere match, near as much. I don't think should ever be done. Online. No, <laughs> yeah, no, no. I mean, you talking about twenty bucks? Like, fuck, fuck it, dude. Let's let's run it on on delay base. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, nah, dude. That's just tough. People get salty as it is with a, a regular free to enter tournament on delay based net code. Like you put any money into it, you're asking for problems. That's yeah. right. Flash, you got it right. It was two, it was for two fifty. I think Punk Punk wanted it to be for five hundred, but he agreed to two fifty. Man, that shit was crazy. He said a lot of things. He said a lot. He did of say things. a lot of things. He did. Say he said a, lot, a of lot of things. Not all of them good. <laughs> Not many of them good. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them bad. Yeah. Yes, absolute. It was pretty hype. Like I, I think Trash Talk has a really good place sometimes. You know, like I mean, they have a. They've been having a rapport though, back and forth for a cool minute, right? Um, who Hotashi and Hotashi Punk? and Punk? Or I mean, like at least like they've well, played before, like and they're they're the... friendly enough with each other. Uh. Or do they hate each other? <laughs> no? That. Oh, yeah, am I yeah, wrong? I okay, all right, fill yeah, me in, yeah. fill me in. I want to know. Well, no, the, the story was that, so Hotashi won EVO online, right? And okay. then Hotashi and Marn had a money match. I'm not sure the exact reason why they did, but Hotashi won, and he got on the mic, and he, he issued a challenge to anybody, right? And he's like, yo, you know, he's feeling himself. like Yeah. But... The, he issued, he said, you know, open challenge. Whoever want to go, let's go. And I don't think he... I don't know if he meant like right then and there, but <laughs> but Punk came in the chat. Yipes acknowledged him. He said, yo, Punk, you want in? You want to run it right now? Hotashi was in no position to back down. And they ran it. And it's like, yeah. Like, and that was, but part of whole, Punk's whole beef was with him was like, and that, that ties into kind of what you wanted to talk about tonight was uh, online is online, you know. Online will never be offline. Yeah, and that was his whole beef with the Evo win, right? Like you know, e- Evo Online. It doesn't say just Evo there, right? It says Evo Online. Like there is a distinction. There's a big difference between playing in your boxer shorts in your bedroom versus playing at Mandalay Bay in front of however many ten, you know, ten thousand people or whatever. Yeah, there's like one or two more tournament nerds to have to think about, you know. Right. There's like two it's or three, just... maybe. <laughs> just two or three. Yeah, it's just uh one is the crowd, two is the noise. And right. Three is that jump CD's nuts coming your way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, all right, so how do you guys feel about going on something like Team Nest's new uh Battle Royale tournament with a delay based netcode cuz so, considering we still got to wait till February to get the rollback, we still got to deal with King of Fighters 14's netcode as it is right now. Explain what that is, because I actually don't know what that tournament is. Like the it's, a, it. it's a party mode tournament, so pretty much, you know, it could be, for example, you, Nate, and uh, Fatboy going to a tournament, and you got to do a first to 10 versus another three guys, and loser gets eliminated. Two days every weekend, so pretty much the whole weekend, and you guys fight till the next weekend until you know you get a you get a winner and for it's me, for all of north north and south america for so. me i it's i know it's gonna be rough but i want to do it just because that shit sounds like fun and it's the kind of thing that i would like to see how it's run how i felt about it all that other stuff because like in the future i want to run these kind of things so even if it's gonna be like bad connection wise i'm still gonna go all in and I'll, and I'll figure some shit out even if uh you know i don't win or or whatever it don't matter you know yeah oh yeah i almost forgot what i was gonna say um <laughs> yeah the thing about doing stuff like that is right like you when you sign up for an online tourney you have to accept... give up a part of your soul yeah yes you have to accept 
all parts of you know you have to accept all terms right like this is online the connection is gonna be what it is right i mean this is why every tourney we ran you know it's it's free entry right like yes the you get the matcherino going and real real money real stakes on the line but like it's free entry and when you sign up for an online tourney you gotta say it is what it is like you are accepting all terms and conditions like hey guess what this could lag out in any second and it's gonna suck real bad <laughs> And if you're not, if you're not willing to accept that or your ego can't take that, don't sign up <laughs> like yeah, I'm, just straight up. I'm not even going to lie. There was so many random spikes and like connection bits today. Like, cause me and Sanchez had a first to 10, uh, the other day and it was super muddy and it, it, and I was like really tilted while we were playing. Cause I was like, man, we, we could have had a such better game. But ever since that set, every bad connection or anything today, I've just had a stone face. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it just doesn't bother me anymore. I don't know. I, th I think that, that the last set broke me. <laughs> <laughs> it don't bother. Yeah. Like, let me let me go venture into uh, Colombian lobbies, whatever. I don't care. Like, like, let's just bring it on. I'll adjust. Like, we'll figure it out. Let me show me what you got. <laughs> I mean, that's basically how you have to be right it's like you you can't go in like and then get upset about the lag <laughs> like it's yeah, gonna like, happen or yeah like, yeah sorry go ahead I was well no gonna... I mean, no i was just gonna say like yeah like the connection is not gonna hold up to a standard that you might feel you needed at if your play if your play is at a level that requires you know fighting games are games of 60th of a of a second right i mean we're talking mere frames like if you're if your level of play and the things you want to do are not accommodated by online netcode or delay or whatever, then you have to ask yourself, do I really want to sign up for this? <laughs> right. Yeah. Cause, cause you, do, you, you, you have to play different. Like you do. There are, there are things that happen online that you would punish offline or do offline that you cannot do online by nature of that, of delay based netcode or like inputs being eaten or, just little hitches in the connection and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, something that is only four frames for you to react to. The moment that it happens, it's over. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you're you already a few frames ahead for what you're going to see because your mind is trying to catch up. Like, it's it's yeah. a it's a slower experience inherently, so your your timings could be off by ever so slightly. But that's why you, you, you can, like, adapt your play style to work online, but, like... You have to play hella slow and hella lame. Yeah. It yeah, online rewards I mean, yeah, it rewards patient play and it rewards like um you know, the hard reads and, and just like just playing really safe and fundamentally solid. Like if you get into the nitty gritty, like the scramble situations, that's when there's a recipe to to get upset about something right like yeah because it can lag also, at any moment and then you're yeah. like man i had to stand c what the fuck <laughs> right and also and tying into the accepting of the terms right it's like when you play in that online tournament i feel like it's respectful not to uh not to complain about the netco to that point right you've entered the tournament you've accepted um, yeah, you know what you've signed up for at this point. You know like, what, exactly. You know what you signed up for, and any complaints at that point is kind of a, it's kind of a disrespect to your opponent, right? I mean, the whole thing with input delay based netcode is um, pretty much both players experience it the same, right? Like, the the game is literally slowing down to keep both players at the same point. Yeah, like that connection is just is what it is between the two players, right? So. If you're complaining that you cannot do the things you want to do in lag or you're getting hit because of the lag, it's a it's insulting to your opponent, right? That they're also working with the lag and they're trying what their best to, to do what they want to do. So yeah, in general, you know, online, it's never gonna be offline. It is what it is. Accept it or don't. But if you do accept it. Just play your best, you know, have a good time. Try not to get too salty. <laughs> it's easier said than done, but. For sure. It's hard to stay positive in a competitive game. Any fighting game like that is going to, you know, 
test your mentality. And if something goes wrong, like, well, what can I blame? That's not me first. And, right. and online, it's easy to just go into the, oh, it's the net code. Right. That's oh, the connection. Yeah, like you can learn a few things, right? Like if someone outspaces you in a, in a spacing trap, like being on offline, maybe you could have anti-aired it, but you could still learn like where to stand to not get hit by that situation or other things, you know, you don't, it doesn't have to always be the, the reaction that's going to set you up for four frames. Maybe it's something that's going to be, oh, he's jumping in. Maybe I'll backdash here. I can learn to do something here in this situation instead. Like you could still learn a little bit to an extent, but then when you get into like the really deep nitty gritty, high level competitive, uh, footsie range going into the, the wild in and outs, like that stuff becomes a lot harder to do. So, you know, people, people immediately when they try to go from zero to hero, like the pick up the game and go, I'm going to die go this kick because I spaced it out so perfect that it'll never fail. And then it like, you know, the lag hits and it did miss it by one frame. And then it becomes even more because like people are so invested into it. You just can't, you can't put that weight behind it. You have to let it go. No ego, no points matter, man. Just take the loss. It's okay. If you really did lag, then it did. It's, it is what it is. I, I'm, I'm tell myself that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I have to yeah. all the time. <clears throat> yeah, if anything, playing online is an OS, right? Like, hey, if you lost, I mean, it's online. Don't worry about it. If you won, then you played solid. I mean, you did your best. You worked with it. Like, I got to hold that. It's like, but I just feel like, the, yeah, just, you know, keep it, keep it positive or like, you know, don't complain about the the lag yeah. or the, or anything. Cause that's just, that's just, that's just disrespectful to your opponent. And that's all I'm I got to so say about that. The tower of power, the cream of the crop. Can't wait to play Macho Man at 15, dude. The Antonov strats. Yep, there's pretty much the only character that I really, really want to play, like as far as like maining, because I still don't got my characters yet. All right, I have a very specific question for you then. What do you hope Antonov gets that he doesn't have in 14? Uh, a quicker normal. I'm glad he's getting that link, his little link combo, that chain thing. Yeah. Uh, I actually like the big ass body splash that he got instead of the, the fist smash climax. And I want to see how like um, the critical strike is going to incorporate his defense because he has a DP and everything, but man, such slow normals. I, I eat a lot of shit with that crouch C, even the crouch, crouch uh, B, crouch A. Like, oh man, they're, they're, they delay in between each other. Ooh, and give him a victory blunt. <laughs> yeah, what are your thoughts on the victory blunt, sir? I'm I'm for it. He should have he should be able to relax, you know. He's running. He's on the run. We don't know why yet, but he's on the run. Or maybe we do. I just haven't read the thing all the way. <laughs> give him the Macho Man colors, man. You they did. The That's colors. sick. They gotta give him uh, a creamer cup as well. Please, please, please. Or we'll just mod that in. We'll figure it out. Speaking I mean, of victory blunt, where's Fat Boy? <laughs> <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> Having your victory blunt. Been quiet for an awful long time. I let you guys do the work for me. I'm tired as fuck today. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I feel that. I feel that. Today, bro. Yeah, that's we crazy. we had a lot of good right. sets today. Man, oh, I feel right. like oh yeah, I feel like uh through playing all day and well really through all week, like I've just been grinding so 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 much. Come home from work and like play f fourteen for six hours and then dragon ball the next day on the cloud until like two in the morning and just it's just been a grind i think i need a break <laughs> but it's been fucking awesome dude just getting games with everybody having like a good pool of people to play like i don't have to uh play the the same five people for six days in a row you know i love you guys a hundred percent but it's important for me to learn how to throw <laughs> and i need someone who's not gonna always hit me for it <laughs> I'll work it up. <laughs> no, it's all good, dude. I'm glad. I'm glad to, to see a lot of people streaming KOF content a lot more now that it's coming out as well. Like, you're seeing like four or five different KOF channels on Twitch at one point. Is, that shit's dope to see. Yeah, the game is like I feel like right now it's in a it's in a better place than it was maybe like a year or two ago. Even like where you didn't. I don't know about you guys. I didn't. I didn't see a whole lot of streams. There was really like a. 
there was kind of like a void and you know there's people filling in the spots where needed but now i feel like a lot i feel like a few you know a few more people are streaming it i see new faces coming in the chat asking like yo what's up with this game people still play how's the netcode stuff like that um it's on the rise and then i don't know it's almost like it's almost a moot point at this point like just 15 coming out it's gonna change everything so <laughs> It's just going to explode. So Yeah, I hope there's a lot it. of carryover from the 14 streams to the 15 streams. I know Deceppi is. Kenshi's going to, like, uh, yeah. there's going to be a lot of people, all of us. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, I want to keep the fir the first of five thing consistent. And... Yeah, that was a lot of fun today. Yeah, I need, a, I need to figure out how to fucking get energy for that shit, dude. After three hours, I'm like, fuck this shit. Can you guys, like, go to bed or something so I can go to bed? Fuck, I'm tired, dude. <laughs> but, but what's it called? Um, yeah, yeah like caffeine in you, bro. Right, it, dude. I I had coffee, man. But then, like, I don't know. I guess, like, cause when I try to, well, I think like part of the stress was coming from like fucking shitty ass net code. I'm sorry, but it, no, no, it wasn't the net code. To be honest, it was our fucking internet, dude. Like, I wish our ISP would just fucking step it up, or someone just come in and fucking shit on like you know our isp at the moment it's like hey you want some fucking goggle fiber or whatever that bullshit his name is like fuck throw me that gigabyte already dude i'm fucking waiting for it but, let him know bro right <laughs> but um i'm hoping like um because you know how we took a break and there's something i did want to discuss like um I think I want to try to do maybe bi-weekly or maybe three times a month doing first to five. Um, right now, I think I'm going to do bi-weekly because, um, like, we don't do anything for PlayStation. But if we do do something for PlayStation, we definitely has to we definitely have to throw a lobby out for them, too, for first to five. And another thing I want to do, too, is, like, I feel like I need to be able to work on... I, I want to say my branding, but I need to, like, get myself out there and get more recognized in the KOF stream community. Because, like, I want to... Because I don't want to reach out to every every player, right? Like, I, I want to try to get people interested in, into the first to five. And if I could do that, and I'm not doing it just for, like, me or to grow my stream. I want to throw it because I want people, like, to set the you guys to play more people and me and for myself too right because we gotta play different play styles and especially like with new people coming in you're gonna be playing some wild shit and definitely playing more people will definitely like gonna help us prepare for people who are more passive people are more defensive aggro overly aggro or maybe even unorthodox you know what i'm saying like, i'm trying to i'm trying to get that because i want to i want to go in strong with 15 so and also be able to you know, learn, be able to like adapt against players, um, you know, and all that good shit. So, you know, like I want to, I want to play K with 15 and try to maintain like a 50 to 60% win. Yeah, man. I feel like you're, you're doing about it the right way. And it's just the way you've, since, since you've been playing, you've been a lot more consistent than us for a longer time. You know, we, we got pockets of, of, uh, focus, uh, Maybe as opposed to Nate, Nate probably has the most focus out of all of us, but I feel like Nate, you know, he started la late. He was the last one to get in on it. Yeah, definitely. So I feel like you've been the most consistent in KOF longer than all of us. And it shows it in the way you play. So if you're doing the the, the fight club tournaments and then you you incorporate this first to five uh, bi-weekly, bro, I'm... I'm no doubt that, that you're going to get to where you want to be as long as you stay consistent. You know, whether the motivation's there or not, like, that's what's going to get you that success, just staying on it. Yeah, true that. Yeah, and keep so, keep inviting me to uh, beat me up because the more you beat me up, the better I get because I literally look for holes in game plans. So I'll, I'll like, share anything I see for you as well as you, you know, just doing what you've been doing for me. Just keep hitting me up, dude. I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to grow. For sure, for sure. Yeah, maybe I'll, th I'll throw more, like, Discord thing, dude. Like, sometimes, like, man, I just want to lay in bed and pop open a fucking, you know, Dojin of fucking Yuri and friends and just chill. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel that. You know, but nah, I, nah, I need to I need to motivate myself to actually play more, you know? I, I, I had a lot of fun today, but at the same time, it's like, sometimes our, the ISP just, you know, just not the right day to play and it get discouraging at times. Like, I want to play against Hawaii. Like, I like playing against them because Hawaii, like, no lie, like, 
I want him to play more with us, but it sucks that, like, I don't know if it's his connection or it's my connection today, but he does sing shit about his connection. This is why I want Rollback, like, as soon as possible. Because, like, our internet started sitting there, but Rollback's going to help take care of it, and we're not really going to feel it. And it's probably not even going to jitter that much during the Rollback either way, because it's very insignificant, in my opinion, like, the amount of, like, frames that's getting lost during the pack loss for the Rollback. It's not really like huge pack loss that we're getting while we're playing. It's just like these random like shitty ass spike because we lost like one megabyte of upload speed or lost like five downloads for like literally 0.1 second. And it just causes that shit just to go fucking haywire. And like I really want to play more people like like Hawaii because and I feel like sometimes I don't because like my internet's trash. I don't want to hit people up. And probably the same thing with um, Hawaii Monkey. You know, I'm pretty sure he he wants to play PC more, but our internet just becomes discouraging. So that's why like fucking netcode is important for us. You know, like for everyone in FGC. Yeah, we got to yeah, be able yeah. to fight, dude. If we can't uh, if we can't get our ish on with our homies, then uh, what are we gonna do? Play Fortnite? I mean, they put Chun Li in Fortnite, but I kind of don't want to you know look for golden weapons i just kind of want to do ex moves i don't even want to build dude that thing was dumb i don't know why they added building in fucking fortnite dude Stupid you don't want to you don't want to like hear footsteps and then build a tower 30 feet into the sky fuck no i don't want to build a giant fucking dildo fuck have that. you have you actually seen some fucking crazy fortnite clips though some of those guys get down like they'll build a tower going up that people will chase up and like instead of building it six high they'll build it four high and then pop up behind the person and then shoot them with a shotgun like they'll like legit mix people up or they'll build like a tower where they fall off the side like they'll put a platform outside so they can get a getaway and shit like that and then they blow yeah, it up I on their way it. out. I mean, like, that shit's crazy. It's cool, but it's just not made for me, man. Oh, hell no. It's not for me deal. either. I don't want to do that shit. But that shit is fucking exciting when when you get the high-level play going on. I think most games are like that, though. When you get shit to the top level, like Puyo Puyo is fucking fantastic. If you ever if you ever want to watch no, a chill know, game and get Puyo. fucking serious. I, I want I want to buy that Puyo Puyo Tetris bullshit. Like, yeah, dude. Dope. That game, that game, uh, I was supposed to learn how to play from Kyobi, but I was supposed to get a Switch before the pandemic. I fucked up. I didn't get one, so <laughs> I need to, I need to talk to him again and see if he can teach me. That game looks sick. Oh, for sure. That game is tight. I do like watch. But yeah, man, KOF. My bad. Took us off track. Oh, song. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what to say about Fortnite. <laughs> you could say uh, what your heart's Fortnite. content. You know, it's Fortnite. It's, it is. it's there. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm not trying to give, like, any free promotion to Fortnite at all. Don't get me wrong. This ain't this ain't one of my fortes. It's just, I like to see the peak of other games and kind of see, like, you know, where's, where's the mix-up coming from, right? League of Legends, you can mix up with spacing and, like, people can waste their moves and now they're on cooldown. You got to push in, like... There's little bits like that, that that fascinate me. It's the same thing when I watch MMA, though. Like, I think of, like, oh, man... That guy like got like a mental stun on the dude and he moved in like it's like Benny Maru getting the anti air and then starting to run up for meaty, you know, like getting a little I don't know. There's a I have a video I'm working on. It's going to take a while to get right <laughs> to make well, it's, that it's one make like sense. For, like esports related. Like if you're if you're trying to like get the highest play for a particular video game, you know, you want to see like the highlights, you want to see like the players and their backstories. Why are they so damn good? you know yeah so get 15 esports like we're, we're running tournaments because where where are the esports uh kof 14 tournaments this whole time you know yeah there was very few and you know they didn't get as much recognition as other fighting games so coming 15 like you know how's that esports model going to be looking like and you know what tournaments are going to be out there for it especially like coming back into like local scenes depends I, on the community that's the way how i see it right we have to be big for esports to even like give a shit like to dip their toes into our you know our game yeah but that's why you just gotta be uh you know good for the community you gotta work on creating places for people to study creating places places for people to play tournaments for people to join like it's it's not just a, a one end thing it's a multi thing you got to get all the spectrum to be right and then uh yeah you get the you but get more if, support even if, if you tr you build it right like we've seen like you know shout out to freaking gibby and um 
meta A for SoCal. They tried so hard to fucking get that shit running in SoCal, but people don't want to come out or people are just like busy with life, man. Like Yeah, and that is what it I, is. I think but to be honest, were... it has to be with like it has to be new kids too. To yeah. To be honest with KOF. Like it has to be the youngins who don't have kids and shit like that to deal with to fucking come out and blow the scene up. You know, like we could give them the space, but it doesn't seem like KOF is in like well I don't want to well I guess like from what I just noticed it doesn't seem like KOF get as much love compared to like Guilty Gear Street Fighter and stuff like that out there yeah that's definitely true like a KOF is more of a niche of tea compared to like other fighting games on the market right now but I, I think that can change just as if people receive the game well you know like the lobbies don't fuck up on launch the game works properly and people can at least play it for what it is um you know if if that succeeds then we have the best chance um but yeah. if if that fails it's going to be a long hill to climb back up and then that might be a, a bad spot but who knows it may literally shatter all expectations or it might just be getting our hopes up for nothing yeah right like that's why like i'm just more focused on building a scene for us like as, yeah yeah i mean as in like the kof people around i guess well hopefully all of america right like you know south north or whatever wherever you're at i don't give a shit but as long as you want to come in have a good time you know just make sure like our vibe is positive you know you're always welcome to play in the tournament join the room shoot the shit and all that good stuff uh, that's what i'm focused on like, people who just want to have a space to just chill with the homies have fun or people just want to like play the tournament get to know people and all that stuff you know like how like us getting to know team nest and violent kane then i start watching them stream um they're down Everybody's to play cool, with man. anyone yeah like violent kane will literally like you hit up violent kane or i dash and you say you want to play them for like you know a first to ten they'll give it to you dude they don't care like if you're bad or good they just want to play like that's why like I want to keep continue doing this because I was able to like be friends with people at you know that are cool like that right like being able to like have someone like hey I want to play Violent Kane Marco or I dash and I want to play a first to ten they're down to play the first to ten to help you level up and and I want to keep doing it because I want other people to meet these players because I think they deserve more love too you know what I'm saying and I I think it's just gonna it's just gonna benefit us you know and yeah. And my baseball cap to you, gentlemen, for helping on the community through this whole time, through, like, the dark ages of KOF. You don't know what was going to happen. It's fucking dope to see you guys put in the work and watching you guys level up and helping build the community online, you know, while we don't have an, off an offline community. Like, it's fucking awesome to see. Yeah, there's so many I mean, people nice running it, too. Things. Yeah, you've been the most consistent <laughs> streamer of all of us with the KOF lobbies. Like, that. That, yeah. that's not nothing for sure like that is and i mean the whole come up series like that is uh yeah the come up was one of it, probably the most fun the tournament i've been in like you saw the inclusion man you were there for that so yeah it, it the work's there from all of us and and that's what i'm saying i'm glad that you know none of us did the podcast until nate showed up so i want to thank you for for hosting this and you know, giving people something to hear about while we wait for the next one, the big one. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone needs a, a place to just pop up real quick and hear some old dudes talk about video games for a minute. You know, no big deal. Yeah, and, and as far as the new people that are coming into KOF right now, like, these are going to be the OGs because they're here before the game's even out. They're putting in the work ahead of time, you know? And, like, the people like the Seppi, they're, they're going to be fucking monsters on the line and everybody they're gonna like all the new guys that are coming in fresh they want to like learn this you know kof like they got like five months six months of, of a head start and i want to see what they're going to be doing in these tournaments oh, yeah. i can't wait can't wait to see like because i when when 15 comes out i just want, i really want to see how they do and i want to see how if new people are gonna come and give you know them a run too like that's what's gonna make 15 pretty excited for me like, you know I'm, of course i'm gonna have fun but like the competition for everyone and i and hopefully like we if we continue doing what we could do hopefully we could you know 
grab um what's it called um grab other people's attention but only thing i'm scared about like there's gonna be there's gonna be people who are more known like let's just say for example like teen spooky like it sucks that like they could definitely take like a huge spotlight away from like other people who've been in the KOF community trying to do stuff for them already but that's not necessarily a problem right because okay. as long in as long as like people in the community are involving themselves in those type of things like yes maybe some people are like i can only enter one tournament a week and i choose spookies but like as long as people still build up their brands and and start streaming and doing what they need to do uh you know there will be a very very gradual yet slow growth like not everyone uh is in the position where team spooky like where they have so many followers that they could just boot up a new game and they're known for doing that and hosting tournaments and having a spot uh i mean it's going to be the same for wnf right like when we run online tournaments and wnf or even offline tournaments wnf is going to have a spot too and there's going to be other stuff in san diego and other stuff in la like everyone's always going to have something going on right and different different pockets are going to be served different ways like for me the benefit that i try to offer when um i'm doing my offline events is i like to make sure everyone has food you know people can pitch in if they please but i like to make sure everyone gets to eat and i like to make sure everyone has a place to play or at least like there's not more than three to four people on a setup if i can make sure that i can keep that going like then then i'm good that's like what i'm offering is a different experience it's more of a grind and other stuff and it's more invitational because just covid is a thing but you know what I mean? Like it's it's just a different feel, different vibe. Like someone who is going to be a, a straight beginner going into NLBC is going to get a very different experience than someone like Punk who picked up the game and already knows like a good amount of stuff what to look for in fighting games to build a good offense. And it's it's going to be two differently dynamic things. But you know, there, there's just going to be there's a lot to a lot to offer. For, for different stuff, I guess. So how I'll wrap that one up. Yeah, I feel you on that. That's true. We just gotta keep doing it and just like keep, let's call it, trying to build up our... Yeah, it's like... Know, the like region that. thing, are you worried about any particular region that you've never played before in? Because I know you, Fatboy, you, you got a chance to play against uh, Lagia, so you know the Jap Japanese scene is strong, but are you worried about anybody else that you haven't played, like the European scene, South America, like, Australia? Well, uh, one thing... One thing I do know, um, like from playing, I guess like Japan and I guess like people from Mexico and I think I played some laggy people from like South America and stuff like The way how the Japanese people are, I feel like they were more calculated and um, they're not like super aggressive, but they play very calm, reserved and smart and they wait for a lot of mistakes in a way and they kind of they have good defense, they have um, good offense, they kind of do hide their card, they chill a little bit. And you and when they hit you with things, you kind of don't expect it because you never get to see their offense in a way, you know. Um, so they're pretty good at hiding hiding their cards. Now, another thing, like, I, I am afraid of, like, the people from, like, Central America and South America because I never dealt with, like, super crazy. And from playing against, like, some people from Mexico, South America, dude, those guys are wild, right? <laughs> and you think that like these things will be unsafe, but the way how they execute these things, the way how they set you up for certain mixes, you get hit by shit you probably have never freaking seen before. Like I seen I Dash do some crazy mix. I'm like, word, it's that it's meaty like that. It's plus as, fuck. or like well, Kim is like that looks like a weird combo ender. Then all of a sudden you get hit by a crouch B and you're like. You're getting hit by no like i have never ever seen shit like that yeah they're they're thing, farming for quarters there you know they're yeah, trying to make that shit stretch they're so mm -hmm. aggro they're not afraid and it's it's pretty wild man it, it's, it's a different feeling when you play against them. so like that's one thing i'm pretty excited at the same time because i want to be able to play um like against wild people and learn how to like improve my defense because mm -hmm. i feel like i'm not a great defensive player and if someone offense is better than mine, it's gonna have me play defense, right? So I'm kind of like I'm kind of down because I want to work on that, you know. Yeah. Mm. 
Um, for for me, I'm not exactly sure where these players are from. Please forgive me. But there's a player named Freezer. Um, his region, I'm pretty uh scared. That's of. Uh, they have like Tiger Cave Middle tournaments. East? <clears throat> Maybe I'm not sure. I I not 100 percent positive. Where's Arslan Ash from? Cause that was the second guy. Uh, I was I was gonna say his region. I don't know if it's Pakistan. Pakistan? Yeah. Yeah, Pakistan. Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. They're all there. I think they're all. I don't know. I think Frieza might be Morocco. Maybe I'm not sure. I but I uh, those those regions uh scare me the most because like the character diversity i see out there with the level of play and the level of mind games that they throw like there's a lot of players there that will literally run me on like do two setups and realize if they need to play me on for the rest of the set or not like they'll they'll stop <laughs> yeah. they'll stop doing me on stuff if you know how to do it and then they'll play them as a character but if you can't handle it they'll just start throwing stuff and i've seen that from so many characters like for from hydrons from dude freezer has a ridiculous maxima i was watching a tournament i i think we've tried to watch it before sanchez i don't know if we ever got to it but there was a tiger cave tournament where what freezer was doing is he was staying at a range where he couldn't really get punished for trying to do stuff and he would use armor moves to to tank certain stuff and then he would bait an anti-air do the anti-air instant max mode into a tiger knee uh, uh what, what's the name of that fist that he does i don't know but he he did that into it was basically like anywhere anti-air now you're going to the corner and now i'm running maxima setups on you in the corner with the safe jump i was like god damn like he just plays neutral with one bar and now he's scary as fuck because you have to either spend bar to get out or like eat guard cancel roll at a certain point or just hope to god you know like that that shit's crazy dude like they they make certain yeah. characters that have glaring weaknesses like they they make those points of like oh yeah we just get away from that one button and we're good and they turn that into well you done fucked up and now you're in the corner and you might lose your character you don't know my character motherfucker <laughs> like it's like that kind yeah. of dialogue could be made well i think so uh, i'm scared they, of those regions at, uh not arslan ash but was it Frieza or somebody? Uh, Frieza. East London Fighters is where the where they, they were running like local tournaments there as well for 14. So I think the Pakistan guys and the Morocco guys go over there and, and get a piece, and you got another pocket of uh, fighters in France. Oh yeah, man. and where's Pineapple speaking from of, too? Oh sorry, speaking of he, France, let's go there. After. Pineapple, I think he's Hong Kong or Taiwan. Oh okay. No, well, I was just gonna say you guys started talking about France and Morocco, and it took me back to that. <laughs> the the player I want to see come back to KOF from France is Wawa. 100%. Me too. Oh my Cause god. Because I still watch that video of ten year old Wawa or whatever the fuck, ten or eleven. He just washing dudes in thirteen in that France versus Morocco fight, and like he has become a hell of a Dragon Ball Z uh, or Dragon Ball Fighters player, like top top you know he's he's world class right like i just want to see him come back to kof and just uh destroy because uh yeah, that'd be interesting. That, that video is just so fun to watch this little kid beating up all, all these guys yeah why was sick. ridiculous dude just just i remember when i first started getting into dragon ball i started studying his setups and how good they were just like it was absolutely out of this world like oh he's ready for every situation like you can't wiggle there you have to hold that fuck like he just knows what to look for and and has the execution to back that shit up that's insane like i want to see him play i want to see what he can do against these online k dashes <laughs> yeah and that's a good point too about what you were saying um about the our fat boy and, and nate both about the the south american players and the and the mexican players like yeah you're right those guys have a way of and i think that's where the real skill and especially in kof lies like finding or being safely aggressive right like uh finding those setups that make the other player think they can get something in and then just punishing the hell out of them for it like just those really ambiguous looking setups or things that look unsafe and they just and you just play right into their hands and i see that a lot when watching the um the chinese and japanese players too like on et stream like just really safe aggression not taking any re risks but just being super aggressive and like 
that that's that's where uh that's just where kof shines like that that speed and that um that yeah there's a it. definite difference when you when you see a player that's been playing like 13 and the offense that 13 requires you to go about like you can emulate a little bit of that in 14 like spacing yourself out properly and doing the hops ins and stuff or like yeah. you can see when people do like the street fighter bulldog or like like me like i don't play kof to the same jump game although i'm trying to take less risk so i'm just kind of you know winging right. it as i go but um like it, there's a definite feel like when someone hops at you after doing a certain setup like they'll do a cd run back and then hop you're like oh shit this guy knows what's up <laughs> like he yeah, knows i right. can't punish him here and if i did punish him here or try like i'm hit for it like that's that's oh shit i gotta pay attention here and that's when you get grabbed and you're like motherfucker <laughs> yeah the os is like everything it's just like ooh. <laughs> just safe aggression when you when you do see that and feel it it's definitely a different experience like every game has that though like you'll feel you'll feel that kind of pressure when you're playing against chris g or when you're playing against like wawa or whoever yeah you know yeah absolutely i think yeah and i think that's what this just kof like it's really because of the game's speed it's really tight right like you could be in the corner against a character and you just you just i mean if you don't lab that shit out like if you don't spend some actual time into like <laughs> learning what they're doing you're you're not getting out of that corner <laughs> yeah. you know like and like just like you said like 13 players people like that i don't know there's there's all kinds of examples but yeah it's uh yeah every fighting game has that i feel like a lot of fighting games like modern games they've made stuff like more lenient in the timing and stuff like that but not really kof um I know guilty gear like it's it's fast it's full of frame traps too like so i don't know it'll be exciting one thing what makes kof like even crazier because i mean i don't i can't speak for other games but like those fucking os is yeah yep yeah os is are in the corner, a lot those OS's of games is gonna blow you up yeah os is in a lot of games but the os is in kof are, are interesting to me because certain characters can use one os for a lot of situations but then there's other ones like you have you have like three different os's in your back pocket like for for a certain situation i think he's gonna dp i use this string uh it's not like how in dragon ball i'm like okay if i block this then the button doesn't come out at the same rate like with with certain decisions like i mean i guess it is but it's it's a lot less prevalent in in that one i feel like i have to be much more aware of like my opponent is going to roll here this is not me trying to to hit them i need to be very aware of my setup to be ready to grab them like there's a lot of that hmm yeah, it's but that's crazy just... how you say that three three OSs for one situation is at any point. Like to me, I, I'm still like not so much like wrapping my head around OSs, but like putting it as part of the game plan. I'm too busy looking at their OSs that I'm not even like setting up mine, and it's just a big, big thing that that has uh, hurt me in a lot of different fighting games that I play. So you know, it's gonna be crazy like going into the 15 and. Now you're gonna have Shattered Strike OS's stuff. I don't even know what's gonna happen in that one. I right. pray to God that there's not some sort of OS with Shatter Strike that if you press it, it does not activate. That would make me really upset. Like if there was a timing with that, like that you could just use that only when you know it's gonna hit, like or something like that. If that was an OS if there, now you get a roll or something yeah Those, yeah nah, but, yeah i don't think they'll do that <laughs> yeah but no hey man the, 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 i was like they're not gonna keep fuzzies in season two no way like no CBS they fucking two, made man. that shit cranked um, snap the, that one roll thing what's this shit called that boy roll cancel roll cancel roll canceling yeah yeah they, they didn't even take that out on, on the console versions nah I don't think. yeah or they took it out of uh did they take it out of EO? I think I don't know. It does. Yeah, that. I think EO is about. It's the one that has like balance changes, but no one wants to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's right. I think EO is an updated version. They took it out. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I could see developers. I don't want to say fucking it up because that's 
you know loved by the cvs2 community so if you had that type of os on shattered strike it might be broken but i mean if everybody has it is it really a problem you know dude those games people love people love their old busted hotness <laughs> they do yeah and i'm for busted hotness 100 percent. i'm not going to you know say that like i sh it shouldn't be in a game or it shouldn't be in the game but i don't want like when i'm when i'm on offense unless there's a way that like i can still defend if if i can bait it or something like that like if you play around the timings of it um because i've seen i've seen that happen like when people try to guard cancel or roll or something people delay their button just a little bit to get them when they would do the roll and they'll do like an os there too like if they if they make stuff like that in it that'd be cool or if like not the same input as cd so you don't get cd if you fail <laughs> the shatter strike and then can go into a fireball or something like that what if it's the fifth button kind of like here with uh 11. i don't want another button neither do i but what if he said he doesn't want it sanchez <laughs> <laughs> Man, they said passionate rollback fans, and I'm a passionate four-button fan. Less buttons, the better, man. I have to maintain six in Dragon Ball and a spark button that don't even fucking work sometimes. <laughs> Shit drive me nuts. No, I'm just fucking around. Like, I don't care. I, if there's a fifth button, I think I could, I could learn and deal with it, but I don't think it'll be a fifth button. It might be, like, something else. I mean, I'm, I play on Rainbow, the Rainbow pattern. Like, fuck, man. Well, they've kept it four buttons the entire season, right? Or the entirety, except for like one game? Or was it multiple yeah. games? No, it's just except for one game, which is 11. Yeah. So if they bring back the fifth button, I mean, 11 fans will be stoked. 11 fans aren't stoked about anything except 11. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay, my bad. Because it has fault. a tag. No, you're right, yeah. you're right. Yeah, they're hooked on the tag. They're hooked on the tag combos. Yo, if they, if they tag... In, in 15, that shit would be fire. If there was a tag mode, like a party mode or something, like I could That'd do a combo cool. and tag in Sanchez and then be like, Kukri, fuck him up. Oh man, don't say that. P party mode, tag mode? Shit. I that mean, shit they would gotta be work sick. on a tag mode first, right? Shit. Nah, don't work on it. Just give it to me. <laughs> give me the old and busted and let's Should go into party mode. Hell, Infinites. To, like infinite loops who cares like we'll be at the mercy of rollback at that point but you know what i mean like i'm down rollback but i like <laughs> tag games like there's a there was a lot of times today when i was playing uh that i would like jump and i was like oh shit i don't have an assist like i just did a jump c oops like i i i didn't cover the ground at all and i'm about to die like i i do kind of like having an aspect where you can like call on a teammate and create like some chaos and and that's kind of fun you play but... 98 where your characters are standing right behind you but i would really wait what they're playing right behind you and you tag in or what yeah, or they just like hang out kicked, they could stop the combo like when they're like oh word i didn't know that's like once in a long <laughs> kind oh, of you thing didn't know that know. he doesn't yeah. know bro <laughs> yeah they, they'll jump in for you <laughs> yep and then knock them it's funny. They gotta like you though. They gotta be like happy or something, right? Yeah. Well, that's oh, crazy. Man. That's a game breaking thing. Could imagine like losing my quarter to that. Be like, are you serious? It's actually are you fucking an kidding me? On three sixty, I think. Oh shit. It's it's really light. Like I don't. It's not like I don't know. It they don't do like a whole lot of damage. It's it's just kind of like a quick save. But yeah, it is it is significant, I guess. In that it regard. can save your ass. Yeah, yeah, it's, it can save your ass. Yeah. And it's happened in tournament too. So. <laughs> oh my god, I would be so mad. Yeah, I was watching a stream today that that I saw that happen. Yeah, earlier this morning, Korean streams. I mean, it's just, it's a game mechanic i guess so if if 15 at it it'd be cool to see it every now and then just to, your team <laughs> in the back cheering you on or talking shit because you're losing that should be yeah, great people, that would be amazing people want that people want the teammates in the back i don't think they want the, they don't want the jump in though nah, i'm just saying yeah it'd be cool if they brought more shit back from the old games or at least the mode like it like the tag mode yeah, if they had a mode for it, I'd be cool. Like, I don't want anything more than a mode. I think 14 is good as is. Like, the way that the, the, the game works. Like, 
who knows if we're going to get a bar after the round's over if they've confirmed anything like that but i think the game is uh in a good place as far as neutral goes like as long as the game feels similar ish or better than 14 i'll, I'll be real happy mm. which kind of like these devs uh push the boundaries a little bit when they see their peers like okay uh this is what street fighter did this is what guilty gear did this is what interested all right let's we're gonna do that and more you know yeah i'm hoping yep. we got dj mode what that else do we need <laughs> well you remember uh street fighter alpha 3 on i think playstation you, you get all these crazy ass fucking modes and oh yeah that's right there's like, like a there's like a team mode or something. Yeah, a handicap match mode. Like, yeah. yeah, some weird tournament mode where you could pick, like, which characters go up against each other next. Like, it, it was a lot of shit. You could unlock right. so much crap. Like, I wish games still did stuff like that. Yeah, there's no more unlocks anymore. That shit's a bummer. Yeah, because it's DLC. They got to make yeah. that money off of you. It, it, it's gotcha. <laughs> or DLC, yeah. yeah. Oh, you want to earn this shit? Hell no, kid. You got to pay for this shit now. Yeah, Earn this we'll shit at McDonald's, slowly. kid. At those McDonald's mm -hmm. Wi-Fi tournaments. Yeah. <laughs> sponsored by Modelo. Yeah. Oh, man. You gotta make that happen, dude. Speaking of tournaments not sponsored by Modelo, I think this is a good time to transition to the Fat Boys tournament that he's hosting. Let me what see if tournament I can do this am I right. hosting? What tournament are you hosting? You're hosting the Yuri and Friends Fight Club 4. Do not Google that, please. Uh, it is a tournament host. Oh man, I can't even see this because oh, it's so small well, on my not, screen. Dude? What, why Don't Google it. Google well, because it's why? not truly safe for work. You got to be careful with that. You got to look at. Well, I'm at home right now, so it seems like it's safe for home. Okay, <laughs> safe for home. Go ahead and Google it if you want, but just make sure no one's over your shoulder, um, and make sure you put Fight Club in there. <laughs> Don't leave anything <laughs> out. Um, so it's going down on Fat Boy's uh, Twitch down here. It's it's been on the screen the whole time, but if you haven't followed uh, Fat Boy, you should definitely give him a follow. Um, Twitch TV dot or Twitch dot. Oh man, I'm so bad at this. Twitch dot TV backslash Psychotic Fat Boy. Um, and it's happening on October second from 12 p.m. till whenever the hell people finally die. Fat so, Boy with an eye. Yeah, yeah that's Fat Boy it. with an eye. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about this. So you have this coming up in October. It's the first one you're throwing in a cool minute. You're back on the grind now. Um, how are you yeah. feeling about it? And with the netcode issues and all that stuff today, uh, what can we uh, do to uh, ensure people have a, a good match experience? You know what I mean? Like, what can we what can we tell people? I don't know, man. Just expect it to suck again. <laughs> there you go, guys. <laughs> you see? That's what shatter it is. We talked about it earlier. You gotta let <laughs> yeah. it go. Shatter your expectations. I, yeah. Enter I and mean, just throw as much down. As I love to have a smooth, you know, as much as I love to have a smooth connection with everyone, right? Like, there's gonna be hiccups. Like, I can't control it. You know, if my internet decided to shit on me today, but for some reason next week on Saturday I do like a first to sixty nine with everyone is smooth as fuck. Then, you know, like it's it's gonna happen. So I mean, it might not. Like some people might have a bad connection. You know, like. It could be KBC all of a sudden. We don't know. It sucks that, like, we can't really control any of this. And this is why we need to fucking push um, SNK's shit in and tell them, hey, hurry up, push out 15 so we can fucking use that rollback netcode, you know? Well, you're already in double digits for entrance. So I think these people are, are down to get in the, the chaos with you, bro. Yeah? Shit. I'm glad I had homies that fuck with me through this shitty ass fucking, you know, netcode. But... Well, even like. Texas crew and Team Nestor already in there. You have Island Kane, Angel, like no way. people in there. Yeah, they're in. Yeah, man, this is hey, a this is a high fast in... tournament. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in getting your shit pushed in, feel free to join, dude. I mean, it's gonna be free money if you win. If you can win that, it's because you got fucking chilling. Yeah, you got hella killers signed up. It's a really <laughs> good Kane, experience. Angel, Marco signed up, right? Like... Yeah, and even if you're beginners, I just want to like, what's a call? Like, give you guys a shout out because you know you guys do um, come in, participate. You guys are part of the community. Like, if you guys are serious at actually like getting better, um, like you know, come in, watch the tournament, talk to the like top players, talk to us. 
we're willing to help you guys out, man. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Just don't do a lot of like, stupid questions trying to piss me off and say, hey, man, you know, just start busting fucking evil cop questions. That's when you get shot. But you know what I'm saying? Some <laughs> people, you're trying to prove like your game plan and everything, your gameplay and all that stuff. Just ask some questions, man. Just don't ask me stupid shit, though. It won't be yeah, yeah, man, we're all here to dick. help. I'm yeah. going to be a dick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, fat boy, be a dick, dude. It's your tournament, man. It's up to you, man. All right. No, but I deal with love. But yeah, man. No, I'm just saying for people out there who are listening, you want to learn KOL, like, you just come in and have fun. And you got questions, just ask. You got, you find some people to play with, just ask a question how you can improve your gameplay. If you can't, you got the discords. Uh, fuck. We don't have links to discords. But yeah, man, just find those discords yourself and ask some questions. Well, people are going to help you out. <laughs> Well, you can put you can put exclamation disc uh, Discord in my chat, and my Discord comes up. If you're watching Here, this, this in the future. You, it should be in the description down below. Yes, that's true. It will be in the description down below. Um, that that is a link to my Discord. Um, from there, I will have information posted about these tournaments in there very soon. I haven't put it, put it yet. Uh, Fat boy can just put it in there later. Uh, if unless we both forget, then I'll do it tomorrow morning or something like that. <laughs> But and speaking um, about including new players, uh, is is party gonna be hosting that inclusion tournament anytime soon? So yeah, I've been thinking a lot about it. I'm trying to find out what the best thing for what I want to do is. I went back and forth a lot on doing a beginners tournament on PS4. Um, I've had some stuff kind of come up and kind of prevent me from doing it, but um, and and a lot of it does boil down to. Um, you know, thinking about what's the best way to, to give um, players the best experience, but also, you know, uh, personal stuff too. So I'm, I'm on the fence. Basically, I just have it on hold. I would say if any, if any one of you guys wants to do a beginner tournament on PS4, um, feel free. And I would be happy to help out. Um, just trying to. Well, what was yeah. the main thing that was kind of worrying you that, you know, you're not going to give them the experience that they want or that they need for your players? Um, yeah, I mean, just kind of stuff like that we talked about here, right? Uh, I mean, it's just it's just inevitable, like, hiccups. Um, and also just maybe wanting to do something more akin to what Fatboy's doing, but for PS4. Like, uh, I guess I'm more interested at the moment, like, in maybe just running a... It's hard to, it's hard to say, because I... I so I feel so strongly about both ways, right? Like uh, beginners, I think it's important for beginners to have a place to like compete and grow and also meet other beginners. Like that's important, but also like when it comes to a tournament, you're kind of a tournament almost like defeats that purpose. Like it, it is fun to do though, but like I just you know, I don't want beginners to get discouraged from playing in the online tournament just because like oh, the netcode on 14 is not good or like um or they oh, just that's, get washed, uh... you know, or like, or like, or the skill level is like too ambiguous for them, like to where they can't, like somebody fairly high intermediate joins and just is just like washing people left and right, you know. I, I these are just all problems that are inherent to what we've done before, right? Like we're all we're all familiar with those. Yeah, um, and that, but that's why we have uh, all of us now, you know, like we're all doing things independently uh, and separate, but like we work together all the time and uh, we can even work on putting our heads together to creating spaces where people can just have throwdown nights. Like what Fatboy did yeah, yeah. tonight was perfect. Like having places where people can fight first to fives of people at their at their level. Because no one no one wants to go in as a white belt and get smacked by a black belt and then have everyone talk shit on them because they got beat up by a black belt. Like <laughs> so that that kind of no, thing yeah. is is inherent with fighting games, but we can create areas where you can grind with other people your level and you know, and we can do that and also host tournaments that are, are larger that they can be a part of and, and benchmark themselves and see where they're going wrong and see where they fight against other players and, and really help them solidify the problems that they have. Like not just let it go unless the player is not interested, but uh, any player who is interested and wants to talk about it like we can sit down and break down situations and or at least i can't like i don't want to offer for everyone else <laughs> but yeah. you know what i mean yeah i don't want to give off the wrong idea um i just want to say like still still jostling it around like kind of baking the idea um thinking about how to do it and then yeah yeah i would say like let's 
like we we can get together and talk about how how we want to do it. Yeah, no pressure, man. Yeah, so I Take apologize. I apologize for the delay. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know what we should do too. How about one day, like us, just do a PlayStation Four stream because we never got to see, like, from our experience. I mean, of course, we're seeing like other streamers, like you know, I Dash and stuff, play on PS. But how I think that us four, one of these days, just get together, shoot the shit, get drunk, and play on PS Four, and just <laughs> throw down. lobby and let's see. Sure. Who we meet? Like yeah. we don't, cause that's like we. You may never know. We might meet some some other people that we have not like meet on like Steam, for example, and bullshit, right? We may find other players who'll be like, oh shit, this guy's playing on fucking piece of shit four. Let me see if I can get it. Let's just see how it goes, and we could see from there. Like if we want to take interest in PS4, like we just try it a few times, like for a month, and let's see what we get out of it. I mean, that doesn't hurt to see. Who we meet, right? And how the um, community on PS4 is, and I'm pretty sure, like, like how we said it, man. Team Nest, shout out to them. But you guys got a lot of PS4 players, and I'm sure you guys want to freaking dip your hands into, like, a PS4 tournament because I haven't seen much going on over there. So I mean, let's just reach, like, let's just go out there and see how they feel, and if they have interest, because you know how we talked about having interest in throwing like a fucking Vanessa and friends or some kind of bullshit for PS. Um, PS4, right? Let's go meet the community. Yeah, let's start king and country. About it. Yeah, you know, like if <laughs> what happened if a good number wants to support you, right? I, it, it may make you feel like, hey, you know, people are down. Like maybe we should throw one. Like it may change your mind. I'm just saying, like meeting people because we do it for the people, right? Well, that's the way how I say. It. I try to do it for the people. Cause I try to do it for you guys pretty much, and well, for Violent Kane and the one, cause I like watching them play. I'm pretty sure they want to play, and you know, I, yeah. So let's just see how the PS4 community feels, and if if it's Gucci, let's just fucking throw a random poster and see how many people sign up. Actually, yeah, down, we could throw a community night. We could do a community night and then get the the community, you know, feel for it. Like we might have to have two lobbies, two streams, like dual stream, whatevs. But you know, it is what it is. I was just yeah. gonna say that too. We should start doing those uh, co streams because, for example, there was a lot of like tournament action or tourney action going down in uh, in Fat Boys stream that didn't didn't go on on air. You know, you didn't see a lot of good matches played because you're running the first of fives, which is dope, but. I had extremely dope, good games with you and Purist when we were going back and forth for a while, and yeah, so. uh, with with Dookie Blast too. Well, oh man, I forget his name. <laughs> it's on my head, Dookie Blast. Dookie my Blast. God, <laughs> Tam, I'm so Tam. sorry, Tam, 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 Tam. My bad. Is there we outed Tam. We outed Tam as Dookie oh, Blast. Oh shit! Oh my bad. <laughs> I've outed. Is, oh. is there a way where we could do a stream? Like we could just make. Is there a way we could do stream where we just have like both like both of our screens on one stream? You I think you can to. squad stream somehow. Yeah, you uh, can squad stream. Yeah, and people can elect to watch multiple streams. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah but you have like the playing. first of fives on one section, right? And then you have like the tourney matches and stuff. You know, two different vibes, right? Yeah, because yeah. I, yeah. I was playing or watching, uh, like for example, you, Nate, were playing Purious, and I'm still watching the first of five. Uh, which is Bumba and um, PDC. So it's like I'm watching both. I was like, oh shit, this shit is dope. Yeah, dude, it was it was a lot of fun. Like seriously, if you guys are are watching right now, uh, and and for you at home too, we we host like That's first cool. of fives randomly. Uh, I think what Fat Boy, have you been con uh, committing to doing these on Sundays or is there a day? Um, I will post on Discord, but I want to do it on. I'm gonna try to do it by by weekly up the weekends. It could be Saturday, it could be Sunday, depending how I'm feeling. Um, usually, like I want to do Saturday, just as long as there's no tournaments um, interfering and all that stuff. I was thinking about doing it on Saturday, like yes yesterday, but then I got a bunch of little bootles. I'm like, man, I just want to get home from work, play video games, jack off, kick. But everyone just came right. Hey, booto, we got some fucking tequila and all that. I'm like, oh. Then they bring more friends and friends, and they bring more booze, and now my fucking fridge is filled with booze. So if you guys want to take some booze for free, you guys are welcome to open the fridge and just fucking rob me. Dude, not give a shit. 
it was too much in there, man. But yeah, that kind of fucked me over for Saturday, and I didn't stream on Saturday. But we'll see. Like, I will post on on Discord in the KOF. What, what the fuck? What's that stupid name again? Shit, sorry for my language. Um, KOF 14 practice group. I think I should have posted on Yuri and Friends Fight Club. Maybe I'll, I'll see what's up. I'll post it in the um, KOF 14 practice group for sure. I'll let everyone know. And the time that I want to do it is most likely going to be 1 p.m. as usual. Uh, if I get done with errands, I will pop it early, but I try to make it end all the way up until 5.30 to 6 the latest so I can handle other bullshit. But yeah, I want to be consistent, and if people are interested, you guys want to play, and you guys want to write it out, you guys want to see someone at your level, that like you want to take them on, you want to call them out, call them a puto, then just fucking throw hands, like, let's get it, dude, we can make it happen. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, just no bad blood, Go yeah, because once there's bad blood, like, I'm going to fucking shoot you, that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good time, it's a good experience, like, it's a very... Like, it's very high stress, you know, because you're playing, you know, first to five. But you're also just hanging out and being part of the community and getting VODs you could look back and watch over. And uh, even posting, like, videos you guys might want reviewed and stuff like that. Like, there are tons of people in the community, including myself, who'd be willing to help you just kind of, you know, see the next step. So why not put your skills to the test and, and pop into these first to fives, hop into your and Friends Fight Club, uh, we're going to be coming up with some beginner uh, focused stuff. At least I've been developing it. It's going to be going in October um, and I'll, I'll have more news for you guys then. Uh, but I've been working on something to help people just get a little bit better, stronger, faster. Kanye West. Kanye West? Uh, it's Daft Punk. Thank you. Oh, Daft Punk? <laughs> My bad. Both, but yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> Party's Party's the original. Look, right. I don't want to start any arguments. Okay, <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm saying you're, you're a little bit more right than he is. You're right, right. you're right. Yeah, 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 you're right. Both right. My fault. I can't, I can't get anything wrong musically in front of party. Party will correct me, and I feel bad because he has yeah. to correct me. <laughs> Damn, dude, you're hurting his feelings, dude. No, no, it ain't like that. <laughs> it, ain't like put that. Him on blast it ain't like that. Yeah, I'm sitting here putting my fingers together like, oh, no. <laughs> no stop. Not really, not really, not really. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Well, uh, I think this is probably a good place to wrap up. Uh, if any of y'all had some final thoughts, maybe, before uh, you guys wanted to head out for the night. Final thoughts? Not really. <laughs> Let's get uh, the North American KOF scene the strongest. I want to see it grow. I want to. I want to see it take out other regions. I still love the competitive aspect of the FGC. So I want. I want to see everybody here get stronger. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the, like you said, the the top KOF players that we have. I really want to see them put in the work and represent usa and also our friends to the north and south for north america like yeah let's try to put let's try to put north america in a respectable spot for sure in kof because uh them other regions are strong as hell man <laughs> yeah we got to grind up and we got to help out our new guys and get everyone strong get a good presence out in the on the east coast and the or not the east coast but the eastern hemisphere yeah, yeah. As much as we we try to help out the, the newer guys and, and the, the up and comers, like I definitely want to start throwing tournaments saying the best of North America come get yes. peace, everybody else. Yeah, I want to see yeah. that. I want to see that coming through, especially with rollback coming through with fifteen. That's gonna be perfect. But we gotta yeah. try to make it happen now, right? Because like you know, we got PS4. We gotta try to reach out. Well, not reach out to that community, but let's see if they, we could catch an interest because. Team S does have some kills, and I'm pretty sure we could definitely level up North America. And I think, like, for us, like, currently, like, PS4 flavors, I mean, players doesn't have, like, freaking a place to play. Um, I think if we throw a tournament, we're definitely going to get um, people, like, giving them a chance to be able to meet and be friends with Violent Kane and all that stuff, you know, visit his stream. So, like, I guess, like, kind of like my final thoughts that, yeah, I think we 
if you guys are interested, maybe we should like push and do a little bit more for the KOF community, not just PC, but both sides. You know? Yeah, agree. absolutely. 100%. It sounds like everybody wants to run a, some kind of event for PS4, uh, and you know, Team Nets is is taking a big chunk with that battle royale tournament. Um, they're gonna have their hands tied with that three v three setup. I'm, I'm sure we could do something this month and next month. Yeah, we just do singles. PS4. We we just do singles. We'll definitely, you know, shout out to the stream. Um, I'm gonna, I want to hit them up and see. Um, like if I could donate a little bit to the pot prices, it seems like it's not, I think it's like gonna go on for a while. So I think it's gonna last like a month. And I guess like the winners of that month get the prize. I wanna see if I could like toss in 50 bucks for them or some shit. Yeah, man, we, we gotta uh, let them know. And yeah, uh, sure. hopefully they could, we could get them uh, to start implementing some like Smash GG and Matcharino so they could get uh, a little bit more for their events. Cause I think they're still running their stuff on Facebook. Oh, mm -hmm. yep. Okay, so okay. there's a lot of uh, potential players that they could be getting that they're not. And same thing, we're not really on Facebook either, so we're not. We're also not uh, joining their events uh, as far as like the the PC KOF community here in North America. Sounds like we need a round table to get our shit together and then make a make a good push. Yeah. Um. Maybe. Uh, oh yeah. Another thing too that we 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 should figure out like um. Maybe we could get a hold of like Valent Kane, for example, and let's see, let's talk to him and see what he thinks. Cause he he comes in from like a very, I guess, like offline mainly, and a guy in the past, right? And um, let's talk about his. I I think like we could try to get him and try to talk about his point of view on like what he thinks and what we could do to help grab interest for top players to get interested in online. And I think maybe he might be able to help us out in that or give us a better insight on what we can do. Yeah, I'm I'm open to and we're willing to work with just about anyone in the scene. And I really want to work with Violent Came one day uh, on creating some events. Um, I'll talk maybe to we'll him. Start. Yeah, yeah, please do. Yeah, because like every time I pop in his stream, like him and his crew, they're always chill as fuck. I think, and I th he like, and lately he's just been participating so. I'm pretty sure he'll find like some free time to, you know, you know, talk talk to us about it. Yeah, uh, we'll keep you all posted. PS4 community, we're coming for you. We're gonna start making tournaments and and have a lot of fun. And hopefully, you guys are interested in joining in. So, let's start this raid here real quick. Choo choo, hop on the raid train. I'm gonna hit Peace raid out, now. Take care. Don't and get shot. yeah, goodbye. Be nice to Team Nest. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Have a good yep. night. Yep.